Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be going over my top five crypto gaming tokens for this upcoming bull market. I think that crypto gaming is going to be one of the biggest narratives in this bull run. So it's really important to prepare yourself right now for what is to come because it's going to be massive. So if you want to find out five crypto gaming tokens on bullish on, this is the video for you. It's time to get started and let the gains be with you. So before we get into any individual gaming project, I want to show you the GameFi index on CoinGecko. And right now the GameFi index is valued at around $11.2 billion on CoinGecko's GameFi index. And if we look at Axie Infinity, which was the biggest crypto gaming project in the 2021 bull market, at its peak, Axie Infinity hit a market cap of $10.5 billion. So that means at its peak, Axie's market cap is almost equivalent to the current GameFi index, all the gaming tokens as a whole. So there is so much room to grow in this sector. Like I said in the intro, I think it's going to be one of the biggest narratives in this upcoming cycle other than artificial intelligence and real world asset tokenization. Those are going to be other really big narratives. But in this video, we're only focused on crypto gaming. So let's get into coin number one. And coin number one is a coin I've talked about a lot here on the channel recently, and it is Nakamoto Games and the Naka token. Right now, Naka is trading for $1.39 with a market cap of $91 million. Now, Naka has been an absolute stud in this bear market as we can see in january of 2023 it was trading for around eight cents and right now it's trading for a dollar and 39 cents so it's up well over 10x on the year so far but at a 91 million dollar market cap and looking where at my projections on where i think crypto gaming is going to go i think this one is still really really early and i don't think anybody is too late even if they get an entry now so with that being said it's really important to clarify that this is not financial advice whatsoever this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only anyways let's go ahead and carry on so in this youtube video i made fully outlining nakamoto games 13 days ago the price was at 91 cents and right now the price is already at $1.39, so it's moving quickly. This is what I like to call a first mover. It's one of the strongest coins in the market right now, and I think it's going to keep on outperforming. And if the crypto market does actually stay strong like this, I think that Nakamoto Games can end the year of 2023 realistically anywhere between $2.50 and $5. And then in 2024, I think some major, major fireworks could actually happen. But what is Nakamoto Games? It's the ultimate Web3 gaming hub. They have 200 plus games live, and right now they are doing something huge. They are actually moving their ecosystem over to Telegram. This tweet by Nakamoto Games here explains it a little bit. So Nakamoto Games offers the ability to enter into play to earn gaming within seconds. No downloads, just immediate access by launching on Telegram. They are moving this onboarding process from seconds to milliseconds. You just tag the bot and start earning. Okay, so they already have 200 plus games live. A lot of these games are very simple. It's like mini clip style games, but they are building, you know, legit shooter games as well and a lot of other different varieties. And it's all under one ecosystem powered by Naka. So at this point, Naka is definitely the outperformer of Game 5 for the year. Everybody's got eyes on Naka, and I think it's going to keep on crushing, personally speaking. Some people are even calling this the Bitcoin of crypto gaming. And with the way the token's been performing, the analogy does kind of make sense. But nonetheless, taking a look at this daily price chart, once it broke out of this bull flag here at 50 cents, it's just been off to the races, up only. The pullbacks have been extremely shallow, leaving anybody in the sidelines waiting for a significant pullback completely in the dust. The biggest pullback was from 79 cents to around 60 cents, and that was a 25% pullback after it broke out of this bull flag here at 50 cents, like I said. Then it stalled over here at 90 cents. This is when I started to cover it here on the channel, and you know, it did a 6% pullback before exploding up to $1.50. So this is a coin, like I said, I think it can end the year between $2.50 and $5. 
As you can see, I have some lines on the chart projecting on where I think it can go. I'm really bullish on Naka. It is my largest gaming token in my portfolio currently, and that's because it is a first mover. It's extremely strong. I'm expecting it to outpace the others, and then eventually I will look to rotate profit from the first mover like Naka into other coins and, and the likes, but nonetheless, that's a strategy for a different video. We're only covering the gaming tokens in this video, but Nakamoto Games, don't ignore it. I don't think you're late. Only a 91 mil market cap. It can realistically go into the billion. So a lot still left to go for Nakamoto Games, bullish on it, and they're really just getting started with their gaming ecosystem. We're so early here. It's not even 2024 yet. We're still five months away from the Bitcoin halving. So if you're feeling FOMO, feeling like you missed out, just understand we have a lot to look forward to here. And like I said, I think you're still early, even with the Naka price just exploding this year. It's up over 20x from 12 months ago right? Because 12 months ago was exactly the FTX crash. And that was the macro bottom of the cycle. So yeah, we've come a long way in this one year from FTX going down and Sam broke fraud going to jail now recently. So things are looking up. Anyways, let's move on to coin number two. Coin number two is going to be Echelon Prime. I covered Echelon Prime in a full video not too long ago on the channel. I'll leave a card right here. If you do want a full in-depth informative video on Echelon Prime, Definitely go ahead and watch that video. But nonetheless, the price is $4.27. It's a market cap of 120 mil. Now, I was telling everybody in my Discord and everybody in the videos too, right? In the videos, the price was at $3.18. I said it goes beneath three. That is the buy zone. And also in my Discord, I was telling everybody when Prime was in the buy zone from $2.50 to $3.00. You know, that's the time to go ahead and actually get yourself into a position. And the price has now exploded to $4.27. So we absolutely love to see it. But again, I think this one has a long way to go. Echelon Prime is actually a gaming ecosystem. And they are hosting Parallel TCG, which is a card game that is extremely popular. They actually have legitimate players playing this game. And also they have over 500,000 games played. This is a new coin. As you can see, the coin actually did go live earlier this year in March of 2023. And one thing to note, Coinbase is backing it heavily and it's on the base chain already. So when the base chain really does go live, they're probably gonna do an airdrop and all of Coinbase's users, Coinbase is gonna wanna migrate them immediately onto the base chain. So Echelon Prime is backed by Coinbase. It's already on the base chain and it's, it's perfectly positioned to capture a major influx of users from Coinbase itself. So I'm really bullish on this one for those reasons, on top of the fact they have a legitimate high quality game that people actually do play. The NFTs for this game are trading with pretty decent volume on NFT exchanges like OpenSea. So this is a buzzing GameFi ecosystem here and the Prime token is at the cornerstone of all of it. And I was letting you guys know about this one beneath a 100 mil market cap. I do believe like Naka, this one can potentially go into the billions in market cap. So I think there's a lot left on the table. The all-time high happened as soon as it got listed on Coinbase and then all the early sale investors went ahead and dumped it. Nonetheless, the all-time high is $5.68. All-time low is at $1.19. If you were paying attention, you should have been able to scoop this one up underneath three, but just like Naka, I don't think it's too late. It's a little bit higher market cap, so you might not get the same multiples, but who knows? This one does have the potential to go into the billions. Now, taking a look at the prime chart, it absolutely exploded beneath the range lows. Now to the range highs, it's up 50%. So a nice gain there, and this happened in less than a week. Right, it happened super, super quick. So I do think as soon as it breaks out of this range, it's gonna start making a run for the all-time highs, which were really just the listing prices. So watch for it to break out of this range. Once it does break the range, it's clear skies, it's complete air, there's zero resistance on the chart until around $6, and that would be a 2X from my entry, everybody in my Discord's entry, as well as anybody who paid attention to the YouTube video. Nonetheless, once it breaks above six, it's in price discovery, and that's gonna be really, really interesting. Echelon Prime, a legitimate game backed by Coinbase on the base chain. Coinbase is gonna influx all of their users. It's gonna be one of the biggest games in my opinion. Prime, don't ignore it. You're gonna hear a lot about it next year and also in 2025 as we get into this roaring bull market that is just brewing right now. Let's move on to coin number three for the video. Coin number three is going to be Domi Online or Domi, D-O-M-I. Right now, Domi is up 44% on the day, trading at 1.6 cents. The market cap of Domi right now is quite low. 
it's at 4.17 million dollars so why am i bullish on this micro cap crypto game with a 4.7 million dollar market cap that has exploded over the past few days it was less than half a penny at the start of november a week ago and now it's trading for one and a half cents so it's already done a 3x in the past seven days but why am i bullish on this project simply put I was a huge RuneScape player back in my early days, right? My adolescent years when I was an early teenager. And if we look at the team of Domi, they actually have a Jagex developer as a co-founder. If anybody that doesn't know, Jagex is the developer or the company behind RuneScape. And they have David Edgecombe as a co-founder. And he was a major developer for RuneScape. He was responsible for moving the RuneScape desktop client over to mobile. And he was also in charge of the quality of life updates with with runescape basically just making it fun for players to play so that is really really bullish right there and then also another co-founder and the ceo of the project is this guy right here and he is a musician and if we look at his youtube channel he actually has 3.92 million subscribers on youtube and he's the co-founder and the ceo of this project he's done interviews with other crypto youtube channels talking about how he's never mentioned the fact that he's building Domi, the game Domi, to his YouTube subscribers, his 4 million subscribers, because he just does not want anyone to get their hopes up before the thing is actually working in a finished product. And Domi is going to have their alpha out hopefully at the end of this year. So that's going to be really, really soon. The gameplay looks really epic. It's an MMO RPG style game, similar to something like RuneScape or World of Warcraft. And looking at individual game projects, this one really does have a lot of potential in my eyes. And one thing to note as well is if you look over here on CryptoRank.io, you can actually see the prices. This one launched at the start of the bear market. Let's go to the weekly price chart over here. And Domi launched at the absolute start of the crypto bear market. As you can see, December 13th of 2021. Bitcoin had already topped out at that point, And that was essentially the beginning of the end for the crypto bull run. So GameFi had a little bit of a pump here, as you can see, it did well early in 2022. This was during the bear market, and then, you know, the bear market really did start to hit, and it formed a beautiful bottoming out basing pattern. And if you look at this chart, even at one and a half cents, it's got so much room to, to go. And looking at CryptoRank.io, you can see the prices that people were paying in the, the pre-sales for Domi. And it's above the seed sale price, because that was at one cent, so it's up 60% from that price. But all the other pre-sales, the strategic sale, the private sale, and the IDO, they were paying 1.8 cents, 2 cents, 2.4 cents. So you're getting it cheaper than the pre-sale right now if it is something that you do actually want to go ahead and get into. And like I said, the team behind this project is extremely strong. It looks like a really interesting game. They are making it very, very interesting for people that are actually going to be playing it. As you can see, some questions about the game. There is no level cap, no skill cap, meaning that people can keep on progressing and getting better and essentially dominate the server this right here is another reason i like the game being at crypto empire we dominate the crypto market well domi online you're going to be able to dominate the server because there is no level or skill cap the more you play the better you're going to get and the more you're going to be actually able to just destroy everybody in the game if that's something you do want to do and in terms of what the domi token will be used for like a lot of other gaming tokens on-chain governance and they will have play to earn mechanics and they will have staking initiatives and one thing about this for payments as well, purchasing in-game assets. So Domi is going to be free to play for everybody. Okay, it's going to be like RuneScape where you can pay for the premium membership and get access to a bigger world and more skills and you can have way more fun. But you're going to be able to play even if you don't pay. So that's huge. And then in order to upgrade, the Domi token is going to be needed. So really bullish on this game and looking at this price chart, it's just waking up right now from a long hibernation in the bear market. Price is still lower than most of the pre-sale prices. I think this one does have some major, major potential. It's super high risk. It's such a low market cap, but I actually went ahead and I let all of my Discord members know a few days ago on November 5th that I went ahead and I got into Domi. And at that point in time, the price was for 0 0.0082 cents. So I actually got my entry underneath a cent, underneath a two mil market cap. Now, if you do want access to my Discord group where I let you guys know what I'm buying and selling and when, so you can catch these plays before anybody else, check out my Whoop website. You can sign up directly for my Discord 
on whoop using card or crypto to actually get access i'll leave the link to this down in the description below but we're absolutely on fire in the discord catching trades as you can see from our success section in the discord crush the solana trade uh members are absolutely just just on fire right now making things happen in the market we got Dolan, one of our moderators but yeah we're crushing in the discord if you're interested sign up using the link down in the description below let's move on to the next crypto gaming token so coin number four for this video is going to be a gaming token that's gotten really popular over the past few weeks and that's game for a living with the ticker symbol gfal gfal right now the market cap for gfal is 55.2 million dollars and the token is trading for 3.8 cents now if you look at the fully diluted market cap it's 378 mil this is going to be released over a 10-year time period again we can look at a resource like crypto rank and we can see the vesting schedule and here we can see that every single month around eight million dollars of the GFAL token will be released into circulation. And that's the private round investors, and it's also gonna go into liquidity. But yeah, around $4 million every single month is going to be going to the pre-sale investors essentially. But if they choose to hold and not to sell, well then the price may not tank. We just saw a token unlock for GFAL and the price has been really stable, right? It pumped up here to 3.8 cents, 4 cents, and even with a recent unlock, it's been stable here. So the early investors essentially aren't selling, they're waiting for higher. So that right there in and of itself is really interesting. But what is games for a living? It's very similar to something like Nakamoto Games where they're building a ecosystem with many different games to play. It's play to earn. They have four games out right now, Elemental Raiders, Diamond Dreams, Jump Pump, and Sol soccer legends these are their first games and i don't really necessarily think they're great games so far i took a look into the gameplay and what the games are about they could use some work but it's still really early this thing is still in development but if we look at the team of gfal this is a reason on why so many people are so hyped and so buzzed on this project is the team so as we can see established in 2021 their core team includes a former vice president at activision blizzard king also a founder and former ceo of both electronic arts and digital chocolate they have an emmy award nominee as the art director as well as a lot of other people from blizzard entertainment so their team has a lot of experience building successful games blizzard obviously responsible for world of warcraft just like jagex responsible for runescape so yeah i mean i don't really game too much anymore but um I, i'm aware of, of blizzard jagex of what these companies are because i did grow up unfortunately you know behind that screen or maybe fortunately playing runescape teaches you how to grind I think anybody that played runescape especially old school runescape knows that it teaches you how to grind for what you want and achieve your goals so take away the good and the bad but overall you know gaming is you can be doing so much better stuff with your time anyways i digress i'm an investor i invest in gaming tokens because i want to invest in them and increase my net worth that's why i'm even interested in gaming tokens i'm really not that interested in playing them i'm just being real with you Anyways, GFAL coin number four for the video again 3.8 cents right now this one can easily go to two three maybe even higher four or five dollars i don't want to get too carried away but it is possible we see this one to two dollars three dollars in the next bull market so i think there's a lot of gains to be had with gfal check it out on your own do your own research and like i said if those private round investors are just going to keep on holding for higher then this token inflation the unlocks don't really mean that much and most of the tokens are unlocked over a 10-year vesting schedule so yeah gfal coin number four for the video now moving on to coin number five coin number five is going to be the hello token okay so the hello token is trading for 13.3 cents the market cap of 71.1 million dollars it did just have a huge price explosion as we can see late october it was at around seven cents and came all the way up here to 14 cents so it just 2x very recently again it's only a 71 million dollar market cap right now around half of the tokens are already in circulation and what is hello what is the hello token what is the hello project well i'm sure you've seen this before on twitter or youtube they are making a crypto game show very similar to shark tank where projects come on the show and they explain what their business is, what their project is, what their token is. And the panelists over here on the Killer Whale show actually go ahead and they they vote on what the best project is. And the project that wins is gonna get a ton of exposure, right? This is a, a well-funded project. Um, it's got a lot of really popular influencers. You got this guy, Mario Nafal, 
He's got like millions of followers on Twitter. Again, ethics could be questioned. He also got crypto ran from crypto banter. He got the altcoin daily uh, people and then some other well-known YouTubers. Nonetheless, uh, interesting panel here. And also they have a gaming arcade built into it as well. And the Hello Token will be used to get early access to the TV show so you can see it before anybody else has play to earn mechanics with their arcade over here. We can read a little bit about the arcade. So the Hello Arcade is a collection of pick up and play casual games that offer utility to all the NFT collections in the Hello ecosystem. The games utilize their Hello Token and the Hello Credit system that ensure the community and guilds have a unique play to earn and play to own experience and can save up their tokens for exclusive rewards. So 71 mil market cap, I can easily see it going to billions. All time high just happened at 14.8 cents. It's up 30X from the lows right now at 0 0.0043 cents. But the Hello Token, do your own research. You have to be able to look into the future and, and kind of foresee what's gonna happen and understand what people are, it's not what you think, it's what people are gonna wanna buy and what people are gonna wanna watch and play and use. And I can see in the peak bull run this TV show, the killer whale show is absolutely exploding. They were also going to do like a crypto cribs, like MTV cribs, where they go to, you know, crypto ballers houses and show them off. But they did actually decide to wait until market conditions improve. Go ahead and do that. But yeah, uh, Hello Labs and the Hello Token has a lot of potential. I would definitely encourage you to look into it on your own and come to your own conclusions. But it's hard kind of not to be bullish after you look into it. So in this video, I covered five crypto gaming tokens for the upcoming bull run. Crypto gaming is going to be one of the biggest narratives in this bull market. All of these tokens were right at around 100 mil market cap or a lot of them were actually much lower. Domi Online is a micro cap at a 4 mil market cap right now. I do think that these have a lot of potential. I want to hear from you. What crypto gaming tokens are you bullish on? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to think because I always get really amazing suggestions from my community and I'm really grateful for that. I appreciate all of your support. If you like the video, be sure to like it down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I'll see you in the next video.